Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't really been doing a lot of videos with everything going on. I've had a lot going on. I apologize. I'll be back to doing them on a regular-ish basis soon. Promise. <clears throat> so today I want to talk about Batwoman episode 17 and what it actually means for like the potential future of things. So at the end of this episode, we have Luke Fox reveal to Batwoman that the reason why the Joker hasn't been around is because supposedly Batman crossed the line and killed him. <clears throat> like, that is now the official, like, thing that has happened that we know of right now. With the information that we've given, that's what we're going off of. So, in the Batwoman continuity, Batman has officially killed the Joker and has exiled himself. Uh, and here's why I have no problem with that. Uh, I know a lot of people are kind of pissed off with that because, you know, Batman's one rule, even though, you know, there are variations of the Batman who did kill, like, literally in the Batman movie that came out recently. But anyway, um, on Crisis on Infinite Earths, we saw a Batman that killed once, got a taste for it, and just kept killing. He killed all of his enemies and killed, I'm pretty sure in that one he killed Clark too, and it put him in a really dark place and he just went off the deep end. <clears throat> now, the reason why I like this is because it shows that Batman isn't actually lost. I mean, yeah, he's, he's gone exile, but like, he felt bad or felt whatever way about killing that he then felt like he had to exile himself. So I like seeing kind of the parallels of Batman from that Earth and seeing like how he turned out, how he killed, got a taste for and killed all of his enemies with this Batman who killed once that we know of and then exiled himself. So I like that we are separating that this Batman is different from the Batman of that continuity, because if not, then we would have just had, like, all of his villains just dead. Um, it would be just completely different. We would see, like, that version of Batman, I guess. But, yeah. So Luke revealed this. And obviously it put Kate in, I want to say, a better place than she was before. Having that information given what she did, too. Um... I just, I like that because I feel like it opens up the doors for so much. Like, like, when I say it opens up the doors for so many things, I mean, like, it's going to be a whole new take now. This Batman did that next to himself. What does that mean for Robin? What does that mean for Nightwing? What does that mean for all these other characters out there? With them officially doing this and officially separating themselves from, like, the normal, I guess, normal, like, set this is Batman, this is what he does, this is the world that we built, like, the Batman Gotham universe, whatever you want to call it, but, like, it separates itself. Um, and so, this is literally just saying, like, you know, these characters aren't the ones you know from the comic book. And, again, there's different variations and stuff like that, ones where he has killed before, stuff like that. Um, I just like that it's, like, being, like, its own thing. I get you stick to, like, the care. I get, like, sticking to characters and, like, how they are, personality and things like that. And, like, keeping many other things. But that doesn't always happen. Um, um, one instance I can think of is the fact that Oliver's backstory is completely changed up from the comic book to the TV show. The Flash, things are different. And so it's just, things are going to be different. So I look forward to seeing how they take this from here. What new different things are we going to see from this point on? Um, how is Kate now going to deal with knowing that Bruce broke his rule and exiled himself? I look forward to seeing how... I feel like I've been talking about Batman for, like, the whole time. But I guess I like it that it opened up the doors for things. <laughs> like, we're not going to get a set, like, this is how it is, this is how it's going to... No, that threw... that I don't know about you, but it threw me, like, way off. I was like, that, what? Like, it just... It really did. And so, I... I don't care that Batman killed this world because of the fact that he now, he made the right decision in exiling himself, like, he felt remorse for it. And maybe the Joker's not even dead for all we know, he could be any numerous, I have literally no theories for this. Um, maybe he has him locked in a prison somewhere and decided he was too dangerous, like, pulled out an Oliver Queen and keeps all his villains on an island somewhere. Who knows? But I look forward to seeing, like, how the different character, how Kate personally deals with it. And I look forward to seeing, hopefully, different characters and how they will eventually, like, how we'll see how they are in this world now that we have, like, this bombshell 
Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, another thing I want to talk about, because I'm pretty sure I've droned on about um, the whole Batman thing for a while. Point is, I have no problem with it, <clears throat> and I think it's something different and new. And that, maybe not new, but like it's something that they're doing that's separating them from the rest of the things. Um, so the other thing I want to talk about is Luke Fox. Oh, I want Batwing. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the comic book. Yes, I want that. And I feel like this episode took steps into getting him to that point by having him confront the man who killed his father and make the right decision <clears throat> where he, you know, he would decide to, like, err on the side of, like, the good person and just not do it after some talking down from Kate. And I can appreciate that they took him in this direction and that hopefully we're going to be seeing him starting laying the groundwork for um, Batwing to come. I would be... Ah, God, I really hope... Maybe, like, the... I don't think they're going to do it this season at all. Like, I didn't know. <clears throat> but maybe, like, toward the end of season two, maybe they'll have him, like, going out and doing stuff. We saw him working on the Batcave. That was pretty cool. So, like, we're seeing him start to develop as a character, and I really love it. I just... I really hope they do eventually turn him into Batwing. I feel like it would be, like, a missed opportunity if they didn't. Um, but, yeah, he was actually one of my favorite parts of this episode. I like the story that they gave him, I like just, I like the character in general, I think he's awesome. So just the fact that he confronted this, made the right decision, I feel like that is them laying the groundwork for Batwing, and I'm here for it. And I also hope that him and, um, and I also hope that him and Mary get together, because I really think they're a cute couple. Uh, now, my other, my, one of my favorite actor, actresses on the show, period, next to Ruby Rose and Nicole Kang is Rachel. Um, Beth Kane on the show, obviously. Um, right off the bat, I figured, I knew that um, after seeing that trailer that her scene was going to hit me the hardest. And it did. She always, all of her scenes always managed to get me in one way or another. Like, this woman is such an amazing actress. I <clears throat> cried in the, um, the other episode she was in we were going over her backstory. And just like, just amazing. It blows me out of the water anytime that she's on screen because I'm just like, I don't want to say I'm surprised, but I'm just, like, blown away by her acting. <clears throat> and so, yeah, right in the beginning, that whole scene of her locked up in Arkham got to me. I knew it would. Again, I was blown away by her acting, and I thought it was great. And then seeing her, like, throughout the episode, I I don't know how I feel about her and Mouse being stuck in Arkham, or, like, whatever that is. I'm pretty sure it's Arkham. Because, like, I feel like there should be, like, more character references if they're going to be in there for an extended period of time. But we don't actually know the situation and what's going on with that, so I'll give that one a pass. Uh, but yeah, I kind of, like, uh, I wish they would, like, I'm sure they'll find a way to, like, escape uh, at one point or, like, in the future. But for now, I'm cool with them hanging out, being the kings and queen of Arkham. Go for it. And I, I have no problem with that. Uh, what else do I want to talk about this episode? It, it, they had, like, a few, like, decent points this time. Like, they had a few, like, decent, like, good things that went on during the episode. Now, I don't know how much I feel about, um, Sophie and Julia, I think her name is, getting together, but I would have no problem with it. Again, I was kind of rooting for Batwoman and Sophie to be together, but I'll take whatever shipping thing I can get. Um... All in all, though, I thought this episode was great. Um, with the bomb that was dropped about uh, what Batman did, the scenes with Beth, the scenes with Batwoman dealing with her own, they really, <clears throat> they showed PTSD in such a unique way. Um, that's just something I have to, like, touch on. Because most shows, or some shows, don't really do it in the right way, in my opinion. They don't handle it well. This one, I feel like, not only through, like, how they handled it, but even through, like, the camera work and how they showed her dealing with that situation, I thought it was, like, really intriguing and really good that they actually touched on that and her going through the PTSD of killing someone and how she's not, oh, that she's not, um, back to being 100% normal after even months. Like, she's suffering. She's going through stuff after what happened. That's understandable. That's, like obviously going to happen in that situation so I like appreciate that they touched on it I thought they even did it in a unique way and I can appreciate that they did that some of these shows they would have gone like 
they would have like shown it instead of doing like a time jump they would have just been like oh this amount of time and then they're better this one though i feel like did it in like a really good unique way and handled it very well <clears throat> so all in all i thought the episode was great uh, you guys already know like how i feel about the show it's one of my favorites in the Arrowverse right now um i just love it i love the actors and actresses in it i think they did a great job um yeah that is my review of Batwoman episode 17. Look forward to more videos coming very soon, I promise. And if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Just let me know what you guys think. Good, bad, indifferent. I know I'll get a lot of... Oh, I'm going to get shit for this one. But I am look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Um, yeah, talk to you guys later.